Vitamins in Orthopedics. Vitamin A. Vitamin A is important for vision as it works on the retina. Deficiency of vitamin A leads to poor night vision. Vitamin A is also important for bone metabolism as it is a cofactor for PTH. It's also important for differentiation of immune cells and maintaining skin health. Vitamin A is found in dairy products, sweet potatoes, beef liver and raw carrots. Vitamin B6 Vitamin B6 is important for the synthesis of mood-boosting hormones such as serotonin. It makes you feel good. It also plays an important role in hemoglobin synthesis. It brings oxygen to the tissues. Vitamin B6 also helps you maintain a healthy immune system. It protects you. This important vitamin is found in many foods such as bananas, ham, chicken, potatoes, eggs, salmon, tuna, apricot, pistachios, sunflower seed and peanut butter. Causes of vitamin B6 deficiency. Isoniazide, which is used in the treatment of TB, and L-DOPA, which is used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease, can lead to vitamin B6 deficiency. Vitamin B6 deficiency may lead to sideroblastic anemia, chylosis or stomatitis, which is cracking of the lips and the corners of the mouth, convulsions, altered touch sensation, and mania. In orthopedics, vitamin B6 is used as an adjunct therapy in cases of cubital tunnel and carpal tunnel syndrome. It is given orally 50 milligrams three times a day. Vitamin B12 Whenever you think of vitamin B12, think neuropathy and pernicious anemia. Vitamin B12 deficiency takes years to develop. Vitamin A, on the other hand, is stored in the liver for six months, while vitamin D is stored in the skin and fat for a duration of three months. Vitamin B12 is found in beef liver, clams, oysters and tuna. Vitamin B12 deficiency leads to the accumulation of methylmalonic acid. High levels of methylmalonic acid leads to peripheral sensory neuropathy because it affects myelin formation. Vitamin B12 levels in the blood should be obtained in patients presenting with peripheral sensory neuropathy. The normal values are between 200 and 900 picograms per milliliter. Also perform a glucose tolerance test to rule out diabetes as it may cause peripheral sensory neuropathy too. Deficiency of this important vitamin leads to peripheral sensory neuropathy, megaloblastic anemia, muscle weakness and movement problems, also memory problems. Risk factors for developing vitamin B12 deficiency include pernicious anemia, gastric resection surgery, chronic pancreatitis, severe malnutrition and a strict vegan diet. In the gut, vitamin B12 is carried on intrinsic factor, which helps protect it from proteolytic enzymes. Intrinsic factor also helps the vitamin to be absorbed in the terminal ileum. So deficiency of intrinsic factor leads to pernicious anemia that ultimately leads to the development of peripheral sensory neuropathy. The nervous system tends to be affected in three parts. The dorsal column. Affection of the dorsal column leads to problems in position and vibration sensation as well as sensory ataxia. 
the lateral corticospinal tract. Affection of the lateral corticospinal tract leads to hyperreflexia, spasticity, and pathological reflexes, which are all signs of an upper motor neuron lesion. Peripheral nerves. Axonal degeneration of the peripheral nerves leads to numbness and parathesia. In pernicious anemia, the labs will show a mean corpuscular volume higher than 100, a low hemoglobin concentration, and low RBC count. Vitamin C. Vitamin C is usually found in citrus fruits, green vegetables, and breast milk. Vitamin C is important for proper collagen synthesis. It is also required for the production of neurotransmitters. It protects the capillary lining of blood vessels and inhibits vascular permeability. Vitamin C is an antioxidant and enables iron absorption from the intestine. It also actively protects against osteoporosis. The deficiency of this important vitamin may lead to scurvy. Scurvy is characterized by spongy bleeding gums, loosening of teeth, and bleeding into the skin and mucous membranes. Low vitamin C levels lead to defective collagen synthesis, fragile capillaries, abnormal gum bleeding, and abnormal bone formation at the growth plates that leads to widening of the zone of provisional calcification. Vitamin C is used in orthopedics to reduce the risk of RSD following open reduction and internal fixation of distal radius fractures and foot and ankle surgery. The dosage used is 500 milligrams daily for 50 days beginning the day after surgery. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.